Well, folks, it is such an honor to have this guest with us. We have talked about the afters a lot. We've had their music as bumper music on the show several times. And you know their songs. So many great hits that we could just keep going on. Live on forever and we won't give up. These great, great songs. They have a brand new album. They've taken a break. We haven't heard from them much the last couple of years. But Fear No More has actually dropped. It's available. We're going to put links in the description. Yeah, If you're watching this online, you can catch all of the stuff through social media and all that. Get your copies of this new album. And it's great to talk to Matt Fuqua about the album and some of their music. Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. I am so happy to talk about our new music. We're so proud of it. And, you know, we've been working on it for so long that it's finally out and people can hear it is uh, super exciting for me. So let me ask this, you know, during this break, what have you guys kind of been working on? We have been touring uh, and we uh, we have been doing a lot of international travel on our own and with the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. They have uh, been working a lot with them to, you know, help them do what they do, which is, you know, bring the gospel to all the corners of the earth, which is super fun. Uh, it's, it's so great to uh, be, be partners with them. But a lot of what we've been doing is just living real life. You know, um, I, I live in Dallas and Josh lives in Phoenix. Our other two guys live in Nashville. Josh and I are worship pastors at our church. Uh, our churches, excuse me, I should say, and um, and I'm an elder at my church as well, and so we, we've just been walking through uh, life, just normal life with um, uh, with our friends and our our people, and, uh, and and that honestly is kind of, I mean, it's not only what I think keeps us uh, helps keep us grounded, but um, it, it also I think gives us um, kind of a healthy perspective on um, you know what what real life looks like and um, and what it's what what it's uh, sometimes about and what it should be about uh, I mean a lot of a lot of what we've been doing is just dealing with real real life pain and uh, real life joy and uh, and then consequently writing about it. So, so, so let's get right uh, to that because the song, it's, the couple of sure. songs are already kind of out. I mean, we, we, they're already in YouTube with lyric videos, folks. And if you've already seen this, it's yeah. great stuff. It's called I Will Fear No More and Well Done are both pretty popular already in most circles. So talk a little bit about those songs as well, kind of like the heart behind those songs and kind of yeah. a little bit of the backstory on those two in particular because they've already kind of dropped. They're already kind of out there. It's interesting, I think, when you when you have four writers in a band, right? So there's Jordan and Dan and Josh and I, and with with any song, we go into it with you know a different perspective. For well done, you know, my perspective uh, was I, I was really thinking about a conversation that I had with my dad a few weeks after my grandfather passed away, and this was just a few years ago. And my dad, uh, my dad, I'm just talking to my dad on the phone, and he said, you know, your grandfather prayed for all of us, his children, and then he, by name, every day, and our spouses, and our children, and our children's spouses, and their children, every day. And when he passed away, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of kids in my family, too, by the way, <laughs> so it's, he's praying, he's praying for all of the people in his family. It's probably 50, 60 sons and daughters, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. It, it's, uh, it, it blew my mind. And my dad said, you know, now that he's gone, uh, you know, I'm, I'm realizing that I haven't prayed for my family the way I should. And so I'm committing to pray for um, my whole family, my children, my children's children, my children's children's children, the same way that your grandfather did. And I was just thinking, man, how incredible, what a legacy I have of godly men uh, that seek to, you know, do the Lord's will. And and I was thinking to myself, you know, I don't need to wait until my dad passes away to pray for my family like that, to lead my family like that. And so to me, well done in one sense is about that moment when you're face to face with the creator of the universe. And he says, well done, my good and faithful servant. But that moment comes about because of every moment lived here on earth, you know, and God has us all here for a reason. I just seek to... Uh, to live uh, a life that's that's worthy of that statement. That's kind of how, um, and we all have those people in our lives, uh, all of us in the band, and so we we're just all writing about, uh, you know, those people who have been Jesus to us and uh, and and continue to um, be Jesus to us um, in in our lives. And I was going to say, you know, you allude to the writing process a little bit there, and I didn't mean to interrupt you, but the four of you kind of coming together and having strong roles and contributions, that's not always the case. So give us a little bit, how does that kind of work? What are the moving parts? There's always some writing going on and people kind of 
bring in this song, that song, this little piece, that little piece? How do you guys kind of navigate that? Yeah, well, it's it, you know, it's not the same every time. It's di- it's different every time. But I mean, you know, when you when you've got when you've got four guys that are uniquely creative, you know, creative in different ways, it's interesting how how it comes together. It's not um, there's no formula. Like we just get together. We talk about life, what's going on in our lives, and uh, it all starts. It all starts with an idea. Like maybe it, it, you know, like with "Well Done," it was it, that was it. It was just the words "Well Done," and we didn't know exactly how that was all going to come together. And they all come together in different in different ways. I can I can tell you, um, with "Well Done," um, Josh had wanted to write a song called "Well Done," and that like God just put that on his heart. But he didn't really know like what that was supposed to be. You know, the day Billy Graham passed away, Josh reached out to Will uh, Graham and said, "Hey, I, you know, just wanted you guys to know that we're all thinking about you over here and praying for you." And he texted back and he said, "I keep thinking about the words that my grandfather said, and that was, one day you'll hear that Billy Graham is dead, but don't believe them because I'll be more alive than ever in that moment." And mm. it's just, and that was the thing you know, that, that unlocked like, oh, this is what this song is supposed to be about. This is, and, and for some reason that just pushed us into like, and the words just started to come out. So you never know like how it's going to come about. Fear no more. We just got together and started talking about this completely different, uh, you know, way that a song comes together. We were just getting together and talking about life and what's going on in our lives. And Jordan goes, man, listen, I, I have, I've really been struggling. I've really been struggling with anxiety, fear. And he's like, I, 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 I've been going to the doctor because I've been having these pains and, you know, and my doctor's like, well, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. I, I think you're really just stressed out. And so we kind of dove into that a little bit and so many reasons why so many of us struggle with, with uh, fear and anxiety. It's really kind of an epidemic in, in our culture. And so just walking with him through that, uh, Josh opened up and said, man, you know, I had the same thing when my dad died years ago. I had the same thing. I, I thought I thought I was dying. I kept going to the doctor thinking that, you know, something's wrong with me and I'm going to die. And, and it was and it was just all uh, in my head. And, you know, in that moment, Jordan was like, man, this is I've never heard anybody actually say that out loud. And there was real freedom in it. And Josh was able to, you know, kind of give him some tools that he that, that he could use to help him work through some of that stuff. And we decided in that moment, like, we really, like, what would be really helpful to people and, and, and ourselves, really, is speaking God's truth over our lives. And so we wrote this song, really, for us to speak over our own lives. It's just really, really resonated with people. Um, you know, we released that lyric video September, October, I think it was in November of last year. Yeah, it's at least and, six or uh, seven months, yeah. Yeah, I think it's about six months, and we've never had a, a lyric video like that have over three million views when our when our record came out. Like that's just, I mean, it's just it's pretty un- pretty unheard of, man. It's pretty people. awesome, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it, it's I mean, it's obviously just God's just using it um, to uh, speak to people in their you know moment of, of fear and anxiety, and I'm glad other people are able to you know use it as a as a tool against. Uh, against the enemy. I want to testify to that too, because um, it's really, it's funny how God, you know, God, God, God has timing, God has all that. I was preparing for this and I kind of highlighted a lot of this uh, in my notes here about this song. And I enjoy the song. I really do. Um, but recently I actually was able to do a uh, chapel ministry with some men that have come out of like addiction and crime and that kind mm. of thing. And they basically were given the option mm-hmm. to go to jail or go to this ministry. And mm, at one awesome. point during the night, when, at one point during the night, even though my even though my lesson wasn't really on this, the avenue of fear and discussing that went down the road. And, and one of the gentlemen spoke up and said, "You know, I'm really struggling with getting out because when I go back, if I go back at all to my world, some of these people might mm-hmm. think I've snitched on them, that, that, that I've turned on them, that I that I oh, rolled yeah. over, and that's how I, I ended up not being in jail next to them." And he was really really emotional about that, and we're, we're hearing him out. And then the other guy across the table goes, you know, I have the same kind of fear. So exactly mm-hmm. what you're saying about our own honesty and the own identification of that mm-hmm. is is very powerful. And I love the quote because in our prep notes, it has a little quote from uh, Josh. Says, God, God doesn't want us to live in fear. And we preach on that. And we talk about mm-hmm. it all the time. But your song 
transforms that to something musical, which penetrates our soul differently. And I think that's what you guys mm-hmm. try to try to accomplish personally, right? Uh, honestly, like we we have written songs that are close to us, uh, songs about you know the people around us, and I, I think it's been hard for us to be honest and vulnerable enough to actually write what's in our own heart. Because it mm. is hard, right? It's like confession sure. is hard. People that do what we do are put on pedestal. Pastors, worship leaders, guys, you know, guys that write songs that are on the radio. You know, you, people think that we are special, that we're, that we are somehow more godly than everybody else. Like we couldn't be more like everybody else. Our human experience is so uh, universal. We all struggle with sin. We all have weaknesses. We've all failed God. We've all failed our friends. For some reason, we're, we, we've bought the, the devil's lie that we are alone in this. And when we believe that, we don't confess. And when we don't confess, we live in solitude. And when we live in solitude, fear and anxiety can sneak in because you don't have other people telling you, oh, no, 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 that's, that's not true. That's not true about you. You're, you. you're a great person. You know, don't believe, don't believe those, those things that you think in your mind. We've discovered that in our own lives um, and, and as a band, like as a band of friends, you know, we, we've discovered that it's way better to confess. Uh, it's way better to bring your failures into the light, to bring your fear and anxiety, your addiction, everything. It's way better to bring that into the light than to live in the shadows and not be known by your church and your community. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. Just, and we, I think that you're just, you just hit like the nail on the head, and this song represents that. We just wanted to give really, that really to our, our, our fans and our listeners uh, because it's, life's too short. You know, life's too short to, yeah. to, to, to waste it, uh, living shallow relationships and shallow relationships with God. So let me ask about another song because... And folks, folks, we're talking with Matt from the Afters, and their new album is tremendous. Fear No More is it's out, and you can um, get a copy of that. We'll put links there so you can follow that, get your own copy, and follow link this. There's it's already YouTube. There's lyrics, you can get a copy through Amazon. It's it's, it's already out wide, so you can get your copy. 